Okay, so in our introductory video, we, we sort of discussed this idea of using rectangles to approximate the area under a graph, and we talked a bit about the various different directions that you could go with that, and in particular, um, what happens if you sort of, you know, allow yourself to take an arbitrary number of rectangles in the approximation, and yes, we are gonna head in that direction. But um, for now, we're just gonna look at, well, left endpoints, right endpoints, midpoints for a fixed number of rectangles, for four rectangles. Um, what are the different approximations that we get, right? Um, and so our interval is, is from zero to four, uh, and we're gonna divide that into four what we call uh, sub-intervals. Okay, so we have the interval from zero to one, the interval from one to two, from two to three, and from three to four. Okay. And now for each of those intervals, we can ask, you know, what is the left endpoint? What's the midpoint? And what's the right endpoint? So here it's going to be 0, 0 0.5, and 1, and 1, 1.5, and 2, 2, 2.5, and 3, and 3, 3.5, and 4, All right? Uh, now, for, for all of the intervals, our sort of delta x here is just... One, okay. Um, in general, when you're when you're doing this, when you're calculating these areas, you, you could, in principle, use a different width for each rectangle. They don't have to be fixed width, but calculations are often simpler if you do add that as a requirement. So we have the same delta x for all four intervals, right? Delta x is one in each case, and so the only thing that really changes here is the points that we use to calculate the heights of the rectangle. The width for each rectangle will be one. We just have to think about the heights, right? Um, and so we, we have to calculate uh, values of our function in each case. And so we've, you know, if we're doing left, let's talk about the left endpoint first. Well, you know what, we did the left, didn't we? Um, this was our, this was our left endpoint sum, right? because if we think about the corresponding y values, right, um, when x is equal to zero, uh, y is equal to zero. When x is equal to one, y is three, four, and then that's three again. Oh, we did right, sorry, we did right before, right? Three, four, three, and zero. Um, and, and so the y values give you the height of the rectangle, the width is one. And, and so the area, so these numbers here also represent the area for each rectangle, right? And so if you sort of add, add up the heights, we get 10, same thing here, right? Um, so, it's not always going to be the case that left and right endpoints give you the same value. It's just that there is some obvious symmetry in this particular graph. That's why we get the same result on either end. Um, midpoints, we have to work a little bit harder to get the y values for the midpoints. Um, so our function is here. Uh, if we're doing 0 0.5, let's think that's going to be, so it's 2 times 0.5 is, is 2 minus 0 0.25. Okay, so 1.75, uh, and then it's going to be 2 times, sorry, 4 times 1.5. Um, it's going to be uh, 6, right? And then 1.5 squared is 2.25. So that's going to give me uh, 3.75. Um, and then 4 times 2.5 is going to be 10. 
And 2.5 squared is, uh, I believe, 6.25. I think that's right. So then this is going to be, again, uh, 3.75. And then 3.5 squared, we get, uh, well, 4 times 3.5 is 14. And then when we square 3.5, um, yeah. I don't know if I remember, do I remember that one? Let's just do it quick. 3.5, 3.5. Okay, five, there we go, five, ten, one, one, sorry, one, two, two. okay, there we go, 12.25. Anyway, um, 1.75 again. Again, I guess we could have guessed that from the symmetry, right? 1.75, 1.75. Okay, so we add those all up, and what do we get? Uh, those two add to give me 7.5. Those two had to give me 3.5. So 3.5 plus 7.5, I get uh, 11 for the approximation using midpoints. I hope that's right. Double check my calculations. You can always go check in the textbook, see if I've done my adding correctly. Um, all right, uh, so there's an example using left, right, and, and midpoints. Um, none of those values are still particularly accurate. Um, if we wanted to improve the accuracy, we'd have to increase the number of rectangles.